Hey, welcome everybody to another Photo G.I. Joe Hero toy opening or unboxing, however you want to say it. Today we're going to do Tila from the Masters of the Universe Revelation series. Um, I've done one already, if you've seen it. Um, I did Andra uh, a while back. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. Um, I do have her laying around here somewhere. But um, Tila actually was the first one that I wanted to get. I just never found her. Well, no, I, that's not true. I picked it up and she's in my box section. Um, but this one I found later and decided I wanted to open. Um, like if you've seen my channel very much, you've noticed that I will try to pick them up from discount stores. Um, because why would you want to spend extra $5 as you can see? Especially if you're going to open them anyway and you don't care if the box is all hammered so uh, this one is definitely hammered um, so Tila from Masters of Universe Revelation if you haven't seen the series on Netflix it is fun um, as I mentioned with Andra it's a little stronger adult than um, the original He-Man but was definitely interesting um, I enjoyed it uh, uh, I heard a lot of bad things about it, but I got into it and I don't think that the bad things that people were saying are what really happened. Um, I thought there was, it was a pretty good show centered around Tila as opposed to He-Man, um, and voiced by Sarah Michelle Gellar. She did a good job. Um, the rest of the, the whole series was pretty good, I thought. Anyway, uh, box, I like... Sorry for the cut, had to check on something. Um, anyway, back. So, uh, the uh, the box and these Revelation series, I like how they pose them uh, in the in the box. Um, Andre was like that, uh, all the others. They, they pose them where they're kind of in an action stance, not just standing there. So, that's cool. Um, the artwork is good. They did a really good job with the the artwork on these different figures um tila especially the back one i really liked did a good job with that one um and then this is the the first series have have tila i've wanted to get beast man he was kind of cool the others didn't really interest me i might pick up a he-man eventually but gotta get what you want right Okay, let's get this one open. Lately, gotta open these in like multiple spots, so we'll just cut the tape everywhere and then it'll work. Unless it won't. Unless you miss pieces. There we go. That should do it. And now I'm just going to tear it. Okay. Got the cool artwork for the box in the background. And Tila. Um, and more arms. Oh, and I should have Evil Inn up and running on by the time I get Tila posted. So check for the Evil Inn one as well. Those hands. Her little staff thing. Um, it's. I like that they have multiple hands. Um, poses so that you don't have to always have open hands. Let's see, we're going to cut this so we don't cause problems. Oh, she's got 
ones on her arms too. So. Days cut. Last one might be a little challenging. One on her foot. one falls okay so here's Tila okay quick overview of the figure itself <clears throat> they they really did a good job with these um, hopefully don't break her elbow right there um, so many points of articulation you got the shoulder you got the upper bicep two on the elbow and then the wrist breaks as well as turns. You have the different hands. You've got kind of a guiding hand as well as two or open hands for each one and then the right-handed punch. Um, bends at the, the chest and at the waist, legs. Um, go out as well as spin on the upper thigh two on the knee and on the calf and then the feet um, the ankles bend and spin so lots there plus the neck uh, spins and goes forward and back so lots of articulation great figures um, definitely been happy with those Good for posing for pictures, posing for um, putting on the shelf. Um, got the punch. I'm going to actually replace the punch hand with the holding hand just because it's, she's about to hold stuff. So um, the colors, great. The, the pants are a little, I don't know that I would go with tan but I guess it's kind of the attorney theme or the attorney look with the leather pants um, the boots the, the belts that go around she's got her staff before it expands we'll put that in real quick back here um, I really like the from the waist this little shirt or whatever it is tunic and this breastplate up here the strap that I think that looks really cool um, a lot better than the snake armor in my opinion which never really understood that the snake was more of a Skeletor thing but she got stuck with it for some reason anyway um, and if anybody knows why that is, let me know. That'd be interesting. Um, her dark saber or just regular sword. And then her staff slash spear. The artwork on these are pretty good as well. She's got her staff and then the sword. Does look like the dark saber though. Okay, well there's Tila. She's got the hole in her foot. Um, I have some 3D printed feet stands, and they seem to work. Though apparently the Fortnite ones work pretty well, as you can see. So there's Tila from the Masters of Universe Revelation. A lot of good in there. One of my New favorites, um, along with the Tila from um, Origins, I think is what it's called. But I really like her. Um, let me know what you think. If you picked her up, if you want to, um, let me know what you think. Tila from Masters of the Universe Revelation. All right, Photo G.I. Joe Hero out.